We've been on the Casper Hybrid for two whole weeks, so let's talk about it. So just as James said, we have been on this Casper Hybrid for about two weeks now. An important thing to know, there are three different hybrids when it comes to the mattresses uh, with Casper. They've got their original hybrid, they've got the Nova, and they've got the Wave. So as you can see, this here is the original. I've really loved this bed so far. Um, I'm definitely partial to hybrid beds as opposed to just your straight up memory foam. So I feel like it gives you a little bit of the best of both worlds. It has that softness that I really like on a mattress, but it also has like a little bit of the support and the bounce. So this is really a good marriage of the best of both worlds here. Um, I've slept great on this. I would say this is probably like a nice medium firmness, which is really good for me. Cause like I said before, I don't like anything too firm or too soft. I don't like feeling like I'm sinking in. So this has been super comfy. I've really loved it so far. Casper is probably one of the first, you know, bed in the box companies that I remember seeing. They had like Nectar, Tough to Needle and Casper. And actually Casper is even in big box stores now. So they've been in the game a long time and that's why I like them. Um, I would totally recommend a hybrid like this for a lot of people because it's super balanced you can go on your stomach, your back, your sides. And um, I think it's gonna last longer than the original, which is just memory foam. Um, after about five years, I've started to notice memory foam beds start to collapse and uh, heat really seems to make them softer and things like that. So this having coils is one of my favorite parts about this bed and it's very comfortable. It's very similar to uh, a bear hybrid that we've tried an avocado we've tried and the Sotfa. And those are my favorite mattresses. So this is right up there with you know some of my favorite beds. All right, Sam, show them the kettlebell test here. Very official. Oh, whoa. <laughs> so I've got the 15 pound kettlebell here. Let's see how this mattress holds up, shall we? <laughs> So I really like hybrid beds for this specific reason, because you have the softness on the top with that memory foam and the poly foam, but then you've also got the bounce back of the coils underneath, which I really like. It offers really great uh, sleeping, no matter what position you sleep in. So if you're a side sleeper, back sleeper, stomach sleeper, I mean, this has got a little bit of something, something for everybody. James is predominantly a back sleeper and I'm predominantly a side and stomach sleeper. So you know that if both of us like it, it's a good thing. So it's like I was saying before, these hybrid mattresses really will kind of give you the best of both worlds. They'll offer you the softness, but also the support and the kind of pushback from the springs, which I really love. Um, show you a little side profile of how I sink in here. So you can see a little bit of the side profile. I don't sink in a crazy amount when I'm laying on this, but this is about how I would, this is exactly how I would normally sleep. So I really like this and this bed is actually zoned from head to toe um, up at the head and then down by your feet. It's actually a little bit softer. And then at kind of your midsection, your waist, your lower back, it's actually zoned to be a little bit firmer, which I kind of like that. That's kind of unique. It helps you to get a unique zoned experience for your sleep, but you don't sink in or cave in too much, which I really like about this. And then another thing that's nice about having these coils underneath is it offers a decent amount of edge support. Whereas when it's just straight up memory foam, sometimes you might feel like you're gonna straight up roll out of the bed. This one has got some pretty decent edge support to it. You'll see the mattress isn't completely caving in. I mean, a little bit, but this is gonna be a lot better than like a memory foam edge retention would be. And you can see it's gonna spring up pretty quickly here. It's pretty, pretty responsive. Oh my lord, Jurassic Punk. Yeah, that's nice. Get over on your side. Stay on your side. Woman. Yeah. And like any bed for couples, I always want to show people what it's like with two people for the motion isolation. All right, so I'm gonna get in bed. Ah, yes. Did you feel that? I mean, barely. Well, lay down, lay down more. Pretend like you're asleep. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna roll over. Oh, this feels so good though. Seriously, like, I don't care if I have motion actually. This is just, this is, this is a treat. I mean, could you feel me like getting in bed? Cause I go to bed, you know, later. Mm, barely, yeah. a little bit, but barely. It's, it's very good. It has yeah. very good isolation. Not as good as a memory foam bed, right? but very, very good for having uh, coils, right? 
Mm -hmm. Can you feel me like rolling around? Is that something that will bother you? I can feel it, but no, it's not something that bothers me. No. All right, let's see if this moves at all. Yeah, so. Oh. I really have to, see, <laughs> I mean, it's not a perfect uh, motion isolation, isolation <laughs> bed, but you know, for what you're, for the support you're getting, it's very, very good. So are there, are there any cons with this bed, babe? I don't know that I would say this is necessarily a con, but I will say this isn't necessarily a budget friendly bed. So if you're looking for something on a budget, unfortunately, this is probably not going to make the cut because this is right. like, this is more in that upper range, I would say. Um, but otherwise, as far as comfort, quality, like all of those things, I can't really think of anything negative to say about mm -hmm. this mattress. How much is it for the queen? So for a queen size, it is $1,295. So you're looking at right around $1,300. And then for a king, it's $200 more. So it's $1,495, just about $1,500. Which when you compare it to the other kind of big mattress companies that are up there um, that mm -hmm. have their hybrid beds, right. I would say it's pretty comparable. Maybe a little bit on the expensive end, but it's it's pretty comparable right. to the other hybrid beds that we've slept on. So Yeah, and this is right up there with avocado, sot, tough to needle um, I'm thinking of Brooklyn bedding Amore bear you know when you get up to there you know when you get to like the, the favorite five or so that we like mm -hmm. I don't mind spending an extra couple hundred dollars and we should have a, a coupon code in the description anyway so you guys we're gonna try to save you money there anyway so I really I'm we're hard-pressed to find a negative thing about this um, and it's, you know, again, I think it's great for almost any sleeping style because it's a medium mattress. So if you guys wanted to check out more of our mattress videos, just like this one, go ahead and click over here. And if you wanted to check out our Amazon mattress reviews, click on over here and please be sure to click right here and subscribe before you go. And we will see y'all in the next video. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> In it's up, in it's up. You want to do like a twerk? Uh, like that'd be kind of like a funny random B-roll.